So you've got an old computer, you'd like to recycle it, but you hate the idea of paying someone to do it. In this week's Compute This, a free service from Schrock Innovations, and you don't have to worry about crooks getting your personal information. Welcome back, Thor Schrock. Good morning to nice you. Nice to see I you. I love that. You, know, you, you can like take it to Schrock, and you don't have to worry that they're crooks. <laughs> no, no, that? no, 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 no. <laughs> like, you know, the, the guys that are digging through garbage, trying yes. to sift through and find what they can, you make sure that our information can't be harvested by somebody Th later. That's right. You know, a lot of... If you go on Craigslist and look at the computers for sale section on Craigslist, there is, I mean, don't ever try to sell a computer on Craigslist because there are so many there, no one will ever see it. But the challenge you have, and when we did a, a, a report on this a little while back, even just discarded cell phones. When you trade in your cell phone, even if you do the factory restore on it, text messages can be retrieved, pictures can be retrieved, home videos. Some people had text messages with passwords where they texted like a password for their mm. online banking to their wife or something. All that stuff can be recovered. And if it's recovered by the wrong people, you can end up with a really, a really nasty identity theft situation on your hands. Yeah. So when we do have these old computers, we've gotten a new one, they're just sitting there, what should we do with them? All right, well, the first thing is, is there's enough computers in storage that you could give every man, woman, and child in America at least one full system. Some people say two. Wow. Um, so there's, there's a lot of computers in storage. The, the thing when you would, people pay a lot of money for their computer. And when they pay that money for their computer and it becomes obsolete, they're not thinking, okay, I got to get rid of this obsolete hunk of junk. They're thinking, I paid $900 for this thing. I'm not throwing it away. Why, why would I do that? Well, so it ends up in a closet. Well, mm -hmm. when, you fi when the wives finally get around to getting the guys to clean out the closet or clean out the garage or get you, get you a new barn door stop, you know, whatever you're using that old computer for, <laughs> right. uh, boat anchor, you know, whatever, um, where do you take it? How do you get rid of it? Well, you can take it to Schrock Innovations anytime, like the computer, the printer, keyboard. We always recycle that stuff at no charge. But there is a charge for the monitor usually. The monitors are a little more expensive to get rid of. Most places charge by the pound. We just charge a flat $15. So we get like, people bring us the giant 32 inch Sony Trinitron <laughs> right. monitors, you know. With We've had floppy some floppy discs. <laughs> <laughs> right. Some people try to bring us like big screen TVs. We're like, we don't do TVs, no TVs. Yeah. But, uh, but during our recycling event that we're having this weekend at Schrock Innovations, all day Saturday and for 12 to 5 on Sunday, all three locations, you can actually drop off your computer, your monitor, everything. We take the whole enchilada for free. Wow. We'll take one monitor for free per household. If you, need, if you have more than one you want to get rid of, or maybe you're a business and you've got like a closet full of this stuff, and it's really serious for businesses because if you don't recycle it properly as a business, you can get hit with a $25,000 fine per item. Oh, wow. And that's so from the government? That's, yeah, EPA? that's from the EPA. So don't, you can't throw it in a dumpster. If you're, if you're a person, you could leave it by the curb. But how do you know if the trash man's going to pick it up or somebody just driving by is going to pick right. it up? So what you want to do is bring it over to Schrock for the recycling event. If you have extra monitors, you can drop those off too. There's a $15 charge per monitor. But we'll give you a Schrock gift card for 15 bucks for everyone you recycle. So that way, for everyone you pay for, you basically get the money back and you can use that for some future technology need. All right. And cell phones too, I saw. Cell phones too, yeah. yeah. A lot of people are forgetting about cell phones and tablets these days. You're using them as, as basically computers, you know, you're doing online banking and bill paying and taking pictures and videos of the family. A lot of people don't realize when you take a picture with your iPhone or your Droid phone, it records the GPS location where the picture was taken. It records the altitude, the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, so if you're taking pictures of your kid at soccer practice and somebody gets that phone, they know where your kid is at what time you know, down to a point where they can bring up a Google map. Yeah, and you don't have to be that smart to figure it out. It's not like you have to be. You go to a website and you upload the picture mm -hmm. and it just dumps the data. It's that easy. Yeah. So, you know, five, my son could do it. He's five. He could figure it out. So <laughs> you're serious. I'm serious. I mean, he figures out all kinds of stuff. He was watching videos on YouTube this morning. Like, what are you watching? Wait a minute. Give me my phone back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> What happens to the data that's on the computers when you take them in to recycle them? Sure. One of the things that Schrock does, you know, it only, you only have to have data leak once to have an absolute nightmare on your hands. This has happened to some box stores that recycle computers. That's why when you take them into the box stores to recycle, some of them will actually hand you a screwdriver and say, remove your hard drive. And people look at it like, well, which part's the hard drive? You know, I wouldn't. <laughs> is I the don't whole thing the hard know. drive? What do you mean remove yeah. my hard drive? Um, at Schrock, when we take these computers in, we remove all of the data storage devices, the hard drives from inside the computers, and they never leave our service center in one piece. I mean, literally, they are, they are disassembled. They are wiped. They, they, the, once we get the data, it is not going to be recovered by anybody else. Mm -hmm. And at Schrock, you know, obviously, the last time we did this, we're doing it annually now. We did it last year for the first time ever. We took about a tractor trailer and a half full of e-waste. I mean, it was a wow. lot of e-waste. So yeah. 
I don't know if we're going to have as much this time because we took a lot of it last time or if everyone's going to spread the word that it's a great, you know, it really was free. You can take yeah, it all over there right. and we're going to get slaughtered. We are on the morning blend with it. And so that could alone lead to another tractor trailer. We just don't know. <laughs> That's right. But, uh, but, you know, when you bring it in and drop it off, we'll make sure mm -hmm. no matter how many we get that the data is erased and permanently erased so it can't be recovered. Data will be erased from all cell phones and tablets as well before they are crushed and recycled. Would you recommend that folks allow a couple of extra minutes in case there are lines for drop off, that kind of thing? You know, it's really neat. We have all hands on deck these two days, so you, there isn't. We don't take any information from you. We don't check them in. You know, we we last year we had grand illusions that we check everybody in and you know make sure that that everybody you know we know how many pieces. So if somebody recycled the wrong computer, which happens sometimes, believe it or not, take the <laughs> honey, wow. take the computer in. Well, I have so many in storage. I didn't know which one you meant. I took the right. wrong one. It has our wedding pictures on it. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and they come back desperately, which, where's oh my computer? Gosh. And literally we had like 30 feet long, six feet high, four computers wide. You can find your computer. Oh my gosh. I mean, it was that many computers yeah. just in our Omaha service center. But it takes a long time to do that. So you don't do that any longer. No, just drop it part. off and we'll help you carry mm -hmm. it in from your car. If you need help, just come in and say, can you give me a hand carrying it in? Or if you have like a pickup truck full, we'll have you pull around to the back and we can unload it a little quicker that way. All right. You see the information on your screen right now. Here's the information for the recycling event this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. All three locations sure to be one by you Saturday, 10 to 8. And then Sunday, noon to 5, here are those three locations. That's right, Village Point. They're also in Papillion and in Lincoln and online at SchrockInnovations.com. I'm a big fan of liking them on Facebook because anything new, late, great coming from Thor and his team, you find out about it there, including some additional savings that we don't always get to on the show. The but free $10 bill Facebook. on Facebook right now. All you have to do is go, go to Facebook.com slash Rock Innovations, yeah. become a fan, and there's a little review thing there. Click that, write a review, say you'd like to see us on the Morning Blend. And uh, you, you get, get 10, 10 bucks. bucks. Perfect. And happy Earth Month to you. Too. Happy Earth Month to you, Thank too. Thank you, Thor. Got yes, Southern Morning Blend. Start their day with coffee from Paris Gourmet. It's the official coffee of the Morning Blend. To learn more about Paris, go to omahamorningblend.com. Click on the Paris logo right there on the homepage. Well, teachers are wonderful. Their work is so important. Frankly, they deserve more than an apple for what they do. This is true. Here's a big thank you. The Scoop on Teacher Appreciation Day coming up when we return. Do you remember your favorite teacher? I okay. do actually.